In August of 2012, a little more than 30 Chinese students came to live and learn here in Falmouth with EF Tours. They took classes at Falmouth Academy and they stayed with local Falmouth residents who took them to the beach and showed them what life was like here on Cape Cod. I was lucky enough to sit down with four of these young people and ask them about their experience this summer. Here's what they had to say. My name, my name is Ken. Uh, I come from China, Guangzhou. And I have my dad. My dad is a manager in the like um, he, he in charge of the road about to deal with the traffic problem and my mom is a content in the university. Oh. oh my name my English name is Kao. I'm from China. Yeah. Canton, Guangzhou. Uh, because in my Chinese name there is one word, it's Ming Kao. Oh. So I select this English name Very and I like it. It's a very cool name. <laughs> oh, um, my name is Marie, and I'm from China, Guangzhou, and and my my hobby is playing the guitar and reading, and I love animals. I'm Sandy, and I'm from China. Yeah, China is great. Yeah, because it's my motherland, and. Uh, I think China Chinese is doing well in the Olympic game. Oh yeah, yeah. that's right. Well, I think they're top in the medals right now. Yeah, mm, I hope so. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, when my father wanted to me, uh, let me study here and to feel about uh, American the cultures and know more about America. What has been your favorite thing to do since you got here? Mm, maybe go to the fair. You went to the Barnstable County Fair? Yeah. Did you ride the rides? Yes, roller coaster. Was that your favorite or did you have a favorite? Yeah, really excited. <laughs> did you have any fried dough while you were there? Mm, yeah. What'd you think of that? Mm, great. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever had that before? Do they have something like that in China? Mm, maybe, I'm not really sure. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite dessert in China? Dessert? Yeah. Mm, maybe it's Guangzhou Ding Sum. So what is that? Uh, it's kind of a dessert, like the ice cream. Ah. It's sweet. So what has been your favorite part about being here in America? Uh, it's host family and uh, the trip and lessons. Yeah, you know that uh, you can live with foreign people for three weeks and every day you can talk with them in English. It's a different life. Do you think your English skills have improved since you've been here? Yeah, of course. <laughs> and are you teaching your host family some Chinese? Uh, yeah. What kind of words have you taught them? Uh, some uh, like hello, ni hao, or thanks, xie xie, or how are you, ni hao ma. Yes. So what has been your favorite part about visiting America so far? Um, maybe... New York, except uh, Times Square. Ooh, Times yeah, I, I don't like Times Square. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you like Times Square? Um, so clouded and nothing to buy and expensive. Yeah. I think I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so, what have you liked so far about being here in America? I like the weather, although it's hot. But the sky, because I can see the star in the night in the sky, and the cloud, and uh, plants, and uh, I mean, so many flowers. And the f Americans are friendly, yeah. How has it been living with your host family? They're friendly. I mean, they warmly welcomed me when I first met them. And they, they asked me what was my favorite, and they took me to do them. Mm, for example, we went to the beach and swim in the water. It was fun. What other kinds of things did you guys get to do? 
Uh, you mean all of us yeah. with the classmates? Yeah. Treasure hunt, and we visit the museums, and walk uh, through the cities, and we went to New York City. What do you think of New York? It's crowded, but I like it, especially um, the Statue of the Liberty, and I the most my most favorite part is um, the the Empire State Building because I can stand in the top to see uh, all the New York City, the whole city. That's I love it, That's although it's foggy that day. <laughs> but it's still a good view. <laughs> What kind kind of things have you learned in your studies here at the Falmouth Academy? I uh, like the Washington D.C. and the San Francisco and the Boston about the Red Sox and the New England, the American football. American. Many things. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite sport to play? Here? Yeah. Maybe basketball. Basketball. Very nice. What kind of things have you uh, learned about American culture here that you didn't know about before? Um, such as uh, something about food. Yeah, some, uh, I just think that American people usually eat sandwich and uh, hamburg. Uh, yes. Then uh, when I can, come, ha, come here, I know that American people also uh, eat a lot of food from everywhere in the world. So it's a um, wonderful country. Did you get to teach your host family a little bit about the food that you eat? Uh, no, because uh, my host family can cook Chinese food. Oh. Yeah, they have been to China before. Very nice. Have you, have you been to the United States before? Or is this your first time? Uh, it's, this is my first time. Nice. Sort of activities you've done with your host family. Um, after dinner every night and we see movie and uh, play some video games and talk about the culture between Chinese, China and America. What kind of things are really different between both cultures? I think the um, uh, educational and, and, sorry, uh, uh, educational system. No, 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 and oh, <laughs> <laughs> I put you on the spot. I um, know. <laughs> maybe the site and and the cultural protect protection um, here is better. Okay. Yeah. What have you? Uh, what made you decide to come to America to be with part of this program? To improve my English, and because I went here last year. And I think I love America last year, and I think it will be a good tour this time. So I came here, and I think I love American. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? Um, what, what's your favorite American food? It's different from Chinese food. I don't know. Maybe hot dog. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and pizza. Yeah. Did you get to teach your uh, your host family a little bit about the food that you're used to eating? Yeah, we went to a Chinese restaurant, but I forgot its name. And um, yeah, we eat the beef, the chicken, and they like it. And they want me to show them how to use the chopsticks. Yeah. <laughs> did Did they pick it up quick or? No, they, they, <laughs> it's hard to learn, I think, for yeah. them. And at last, we have a, a little note from the waiter. Uh, there are some Chinese on it, and they want me to teach them how to read it. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. that's pretty neat. <laughs> They're interesting in Chinese culture. So today's your birthday. <laughs> yeah. Are you doing anything special for your birthday? Special. Mm -hmm. What are we doing this afternoon? 
this afternoon. Mm, Karen will will take us to a cinema to see a film, wow. Batman Three. Oh, very exciting! <laughs> <laughs> What's it been like celebrating your birthday in the United States? Mm, great. Um, okay, what did you What did your host family do for you this morning? Oh, yeah. <laughs> My host family, Marshall, Jenny, Joy, and Zen, and another Jenny, uh, wake me up at 7, maybe uh, uh, 6.30, like 6.30 or 6.40. They wake me up and sing the song, Happy Birthday to me. Oh. <laughs> it's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a big surprise. <laughs> so if you were in China, what would you be doing on your birthday? Is there a song you sing in China? Yeah, also some this song, and we also uh, like uh, have a party in the home or outside. Like, a, like you can sing the song there. Very excited. Could you <laughs> could you sing us a little bit of the Chinese ah, birthday song? Chinese song. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Sure. Uh, birthday song. Birthday song? Mm-hmm. Chinese. Chinese. Yeah. What kind of things are you going to tell people about this program? Um, my host family, English uh, lessons and uh, something about uh, the interest of place. What do you think about Cape Cod? Uh, Cape Cod is a beautiful place, I think. Uh, there, uh, there are uh, some beautiful beaches, and I have been to a beach uh, that my host family took us to, and uh, we, see the, we saw the beautiful sea and the beautiful beach. Did you get to go swimming? Yeah. Very nice. We swim in the sea. My host family son has a boat so we take the boat to the sea and swim oh nice did was it a sailboat uh no it's a big boat oh. yeah there also a three bedroom oh wow <laughs> on the boat yeah oh that's pretty neat you could have lived on the boat while you were here yeah <laughs> did you get a chance to go down to the beach yeah what kind of things did you do down the beach uh, taking photos oh. and uh, just walk around and well, watching the, those boys and girls playing with the sand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get to go swimming at all? No. <laughs> I, I don't like swimming. <laughs> oh, you don't like swimming? Yeah. <laughs> Is it because of the sharks? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> So what kind of things would you recommend somebody coming to the United States? What kind of things they should see when they come? Um, the beach and the house here and um, maybe some museum or yeah, a museum. How has your English improved? What kind of things did you learn in your classes here this time around? Many things like music, fashion, things, and laws. Yeah, they are very helpful. And now in America, you know, all the people around me are speaking English. So I can, because in China, no one can speak with me in English for all the time. So, so it's been helpful to have to speak English to be spoken English. Nice. So what? What kind of uh, new words have you learned that you didn't know before? There are many. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> it's a tough one. <laughs> uh, yeah, and maybe, uh, maybe some, because we visit the museum and there's some interesting name of the uh, sea creatures. <laughs> But they are hard to say. So, mm-hmm. how would you say lobster in Chinese? Longxia. Longxia. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Yeah. So, 
do you what did you think about the did you go down to the woods hole museum is that where you went the aquarium down there mm -hmm. okay what did you think of the uh, the fish down there mm, awesome because uh, we never seen those fish, uh, some kinds of fish in China, so I'm very interested in it. Because my favorite subject in school is biology, you know. Yes. Do, um, do you get to visit the ocean in China at all? Mm-hmm. Um, not all the ocean. Just uh, sometimes we go there and for swim and, or my mom took me there. So if so, if somebody from China said, yeah. should I come to America to do this program, what would you say? Mm, it's very, America is very like a magic, very great, a great place to visit. Uh, I like the bay, like the Cape Cod Bay, mm, very beautiful. And would you recommend to your American friends to come to China? American friends? Would you want me to come to China? Ah, yeah, sure. <laughs> you can visit the Jiu Zai Go there. Uh, the, there are places like the Canada and the uh, park, uh, Yellowstone National Park. Mm. Oh, American football. Yeah. yeah I, I know that uh, American people play American football. What do you, what do you think? What do you think about the football? American football, I think it's an exciting sport, but I think that it's a bit dangerous because that the two people are very strong and then they run very fast, uh, bump into each other, <laughs> and will very pain, I think. <laughs> Did you get to learn a little bit about the difference between our sports? Yeah, the, the um, football here. Yeah, American football and baseball here. I know the uh, Red Sox. Yeah. Do you like the Red Sox? I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the baseball rules. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but there's they they play baseball in China, yeah. Uh, yes, but few. Oh, okay. Yeah. What kind of things um, did you teach your host family about how you live your life? Um, I teach them uh, how to use the chopstick mm -hmm. and. Uh, um, uh, about our daily life in China and the food yeah we eating in China yeah what did you did you cook food yeah but not me uh, and not <clears throat> another two person <laughs> cook for my house family it's just delicious the real Chinese food <laughs> not the kind that we have here yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, what advice would you give to students coming to the United States? What kind of things would you tell them to do and see? Mm -hmm. Learning, reading, listening, many. I, I don't know how to say. I'm interested in American history and the culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. um, I think America is great in uh in many uh many parts of the, in the world yeah and in some part they control the world and do you think that um your being here is going to help more chinese american relationships mm -hmm, yeah because our teacher told me, told us, that we are the first stu uh, Chinese student come in farmhouse. So. That's a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> and you liked Falmouth? Um, yeah, I like it. Because um, there's something new in the, here, and it's very different from China. <laughs> so, what have you thought about your classes here and your classmates? Uh, my classmate is very nice and the teacher is very good. They teach us in uh, American culture and uh, some topic about English, in English. Um, how would you say you're welcome? Uh, 不客气. 不客气? Yeah. 
Okay, so thank you, Ishi Shi. Yeah. And you're welcome as Bu Ko Shi. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. All right. So, uh, what, what final thought would you give to somebody who is thinking about coming here? What would you tell, tell them? Um, the sunshine <laughs> and the sight here and the beach, the house, the people is so nice and it's, it's interesting and it's worth coming. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, so you have to teach me something in Chinese. Oh. So how would you say now, um, how would you say in Chinese, I want to go to the beach? I just say, say okay. Yeah, in Chinese. Uh, uh, okay, one more time for me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How would you say I like ice cream or I want ice cream in Chinese? You mean uh, this sentence? Yeah, how would you say that sentence in Chinese? 我想要冰激凌 Alright, one more time slower. <laughs> 我想要冰激凌 我想要冰激凌 No? Mm -hmm, yeah, 冰激凌 just means the ice cream. Okay, 冰激凌 我 means I Want means 想要 Okay. Mm -hmm. So one more time all together. It's one wo xiang yao bing qi ling. One san yao bing qi ling. Wow, great. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here. Mhm. Mm thank you too. You should teach us some Chinese right now. How how would we say thank you very much in Chinese? Uh, 非常谢谢. Say it one more time for me. <laughs> <laughs> you want to learn this? Yeah. Ah, you like the Chinese. I, have to, I want to try. Fei chang xie xie. Fei chang xie xie. Yeah, great. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much and happy birthday. Ah, you're welcome. Fei chang xie xie. To all the Chinese students who let me into their classrooms and to Karen Oppenheim. Now, Wang Shang Yao Bing Tei Ling. Yeah!